mother's womb. You came, and this and these people that made sure you came out limping, they are still interested in wounding you. Goodness, that's see what they are not yet tired about your father's house. My name is Reverend Victor Mark, an elder of immortality. I wage eternal war against that foundation. I wait an eternal war. You came out from your mother's womb, womb with wound. With what? Wound. And that war has not ended. If you're this person I talk about, or the person I talk about who, about poison, come out. Come out. I spoke about somebody you ate poison in the night or something is moving around your body you cannot explain come on can I have water or you know you came up you were born with wound you were born and you were born limping can you come out can I have water <laughs> Every dark army that has been released against a lady, I saw a dark army, army of three personalities, and they have been targeting your leg. This year alone, you already have two, three accidents. One by bike, another by kekena pep. They keep on targeting your leg. Lujo bana gitu suvini, suvini suvini, suvini suvini, suvini suvini kupru suvini. The enemies are mocked by the gate. They are mocked. Yesterday, I saw some spirits, some spirits in this surrounding, having a meeting on how to stop you. Having what? A meeting. They were having a meeting, and I walked into the meeting. So when the, when I walked in, all of them kept quiet, and they said they were not. None of them were saying anything again. And uh, I began to pick what they were saying in their hearts. And when they noticed I was speaking what they were saying, they walked out. And like, can I tell you something? I saw two persons here in that meeting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not telling you to start suspecting anybody. Yes, sir. But if I'm a man of God, in my order. <laughs> you will know why I am called the immortal Budosa. Don't come to a hot ground to mess it up. This ground is already hot. I say it is what? There is a lady here. I saw the hand of a wizard in your stomach covering your pelvis, covering the area of your product productivity. A hand of a wizard. That is a, a man wizard, a man witch. He spread his hand into your womb. To make sure that you didn't deliver. Marutoska. And, and the person I'm seeing is your father in law. The person I'm seeing his hand is your father in law. That is why 
two times you took in and he, he called he knew when you took in and he called you and you said daddy God have done it and after a few weeks you saw blood hear the word of the Lord whether the man is alive or dead even if he is dead I command the grave to vomit him so that he can give account of his wickedness. I ask that the fire of vengeance. Because he has done evil. Let wicked spirits visit him anywhere he is. If he is in the grave, let his body decay again. is alive I command his hand to begin to rot him alive that hand he spread into your womb I command that hand to rot him listen to me if I be a man of God you will see it the man will be alive and flies will be pictured in his hand There are people you don't fight. If you fight them, you dig your grave. That is what the man did. I said, There are people you don't what? There are people you don't fight. Listen, some of us, we are, we are past being pastors. We already shrine. And you, you, they go point the shrine. Some of us already deities. Already what? A lady called me the other day and said, Daddy, I am not happy with you. I said, what did you say? He said, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I said, you, you repeated it again. So I off the phone. That day I entered here, Friday. From that morning, when she said she's not happy, strange things began to happen for to her. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. In the afternoon, I think I was in this meeting, and she was calling me many, many times. Calling me many, many times. I went back, I, said, I saw her call, I said, what, what is wrong? He said, Daddy, I'm sorry, I'm kneeling that where I am. I said, what is it? He said, since that morning, Today has been terrible. She began to tell me everything that happened to her that day. He said, please, I'm sorry. I said, no, but you say you're not happy with the shrine. I saw a woman that is sitting on a family destiny here. That is a family I'm looking at. I'm looking at a witch that vowed I saw they, they married a person from somewhere in a dust state. Somewhere around Samorica or something. And she has been sitting on the family destiny. She vowed, she boasts with the fact that her father is a native doctor. And then she sits, oh, people who are intelligent are looking like this, as if they are stupid before her. People who are wise are looking like if they are foolish. Because she rendered certificates, master degree is useless. I saw a woman who vowed that except her children rise, nobody rises. But she have used the destiny of her children to buy her place in the kingdom of the dark ages. But hear the word of the Lord. Let the satanic cord of the pot of darkness where she is cooking the flesh of all the members of the family. Let that pot be turned upside down. I command that cauldron to burn by fire. And I, I bring out of that cauldron every flesh she has cooked this past 28 years. I bring out every flesh. Ayipuroska. Did she not enter your father's house and turn your father against you? 
she become an evil incarnate in the house but hear the word of the lord an angry angel from the camp of michael will bring the judgment that is written upon her head if you hear me shout a living amen and let the judgment be quick let the judgment be quick let the path be slippery let the evil return let the smoke of witches let the mystery that was cast into the atmosphere so that the living will fight the living so that blood will fight blood so that a brother will look at a sister and hate a sister hear the, the word of the law let that atmosphere change right now let it change right now let it change right now that evil that was cast that made a father to hate his own blood that made a man to hate his blood i bring an end to that evil 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 Just allow this water to drop in your mouth. Just drop. Small. And you go back. So this is drop. 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 You will not forget today. You will not forget today. Let it just drop. Let it just drop. Let it just drop. Let it just drop. Zion, look at me. You have not seen anything yet. You have not seen anything yet. No, you have not. You have not. You have not. Kusubraniska. Come here. You. When I was sitting there and I saw, I saw there is a plan to attack this left hand. I don't know where it is coming from. There's a plan to attack this left hand. When you hear the word of the Lord, they won't succeed. Can you use that hand? Wrap your hand on what part of my arm. Wrap it. No, wrap. Your left hand. Somebody. Yes, wrap it. I saw, I watched him and Azugu Shua. Three times I saw his hand like, like this. And he was still standing there with that hand. And he was still walking that way. He said, when I opened, I saw that the hand was not with her. I said, Lord, what is that? He said, there is a plan to attack his left hand. The Lord, I asked Shumra. I was in Lagos two weeks ago for my daughter's education. The one I told you that I have triplet yesterday. And the man walked to me and gave me a check. I will tell you the amount too. They will not beg me for money. The man said to me, He said, The last time you came to our church, he said you were ministering. You know, just like I was ministering, I, and I, I held, put my hand on the shoulder of him. And I begin to decree. I was praying another prayer and I was decreeing. I didn't know that the woman my hand rested upon was carrying cancer. Cancer. Then I prayed and I decreed, I prayed, and then I left the woman. The woman came on the boys. You know, I was not praying for her. I was just laying my hand and I was pointing at the back. Sir. The man told me so they, they went back to hospital, they couldn't see cancer. There is something God is about to do now. There is something God is about to do. Hear the word of the Lord. Anywhere they have, they are keeping what belongs to you. What belongs to you. 
anywhere they are keeping what belongs to you. Anywhere they are keeping your inheritance. Anywhere they are keeping your honor. Anywhere they are keeping your marriage. Today I come in the force of immortality. Anywhere they are keeping what belongs to you. Let the God of life and immortality arise. I did hear you are a man. God of Christ Christian, God of Victor Great, Ebekina, Luzina Valeta, Luzle La Cosa, Liana Ganusu Melihaka, Luzalama de Chilina, Chineke. Sometimes they cut it off. 
I saw when they cut a chunk of your hair off. You can't explain it. Come here. In short, one of you, suddenly you started hearing voices. You started hearing voices. Because they started touching your understanding. They started touching your understanding. Krusupranish. Jesus. If in the category of what I said here, come here. They, 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 are, they are touching your understanding. You started hearing strange voices. And they begin to call you your phony old name. Anamacho Imaragi Kawe Aribasu Giwe Onyewe Nachi Neke Nana Anamacho Imaragi
when they put the APC man, he was there relaxed. They now discovered that the man, somebody else took the APC man to court for what do you call it? Uh, a certificate fraudulent. And they disqualified the APC man and they took the man. When court mentioned that the next person, which was this person, should go to the seat, the man called me from court. He said, you are a man of God. I said, I know it before I met you. Can I have oil? My capital anointing is to make kings. Is to what? What you need to do is to follow my instruction. You become. I met one of the governors of South South State. I will not mention the, the state. I was in a program in, in that state and uh, lodged in a big hotel. And it, I came out in the afternoon to take to have my lunch. And the man was there to take his own lunch. All of us lined up. And suddenly the unction came on me and looked at him and said, You are the next governor of this state. The man looked at me and said, Who are you? I said, My name is Reverend Victor Mark, a kingmaker. He said, you, 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 you are a man of God. I said, write it down. I'm not telling you. Write it down in your diary and put a starish. No force will stop you. And I told him, I said, your second tenure will be tough, but you will be, you will be there. <laughs> I went to a program in Enugu one day, sir. I was ministering, laying hands on people, and suddenly a man rushed with a child. I don't know where I've shared it here. With the child, the man was wearing three quarter clothes, three quarter, what do you call this thing? Three quarter nika. Rush with the child. The child was convulsing and he was living close. It was a redeemed Christian church of God. Church mission. The man rushed with the baby. He said, Please, man, oh, Pastor, please pray for my child. Pray. And I was a guest speaker. I laid a hand on the child. The spoon they put on the mouth fell out. Suddenly, unction came on me. He said, tell this man that any moment from now, he's going to power. Not long after that, they made him a minister. They made him what? He didn't come to receive oil from me. And I didn't know him from Adam. I was ministering in the same church in Enugu. And I, I walked into the congregation. I laid a hand on a girl. I didn't know the girl was sitting behind the madam. Behind her what? A maid. Sitting behind her madam. And I looked at her and said, I see you in government house. A maid. Man of God. Maid. Where carry madam? Follow madam country. <laughs> it was not long after that, a man married the girl. It was not long, the man was made deputy governor of a state. This one is not as strong. What God has given, he has what? I, 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 I will tell you, Pastor, I said, any moment from now, one of my members will become chairman of one of the most expensive corporations of Niger Delta. Any moment, not chairman, empty. That time some of you will start looking for me. I bet you. You will know, you will know that something can be important. That is, he will, he will control, this man I tell you, will control the destiny of Niger Delta. I told him, I said, if I be a man of God, I have been raising men all the places. I want to start raising my own. I, I, I want to start what? Because the people say, Reverend Mark, you are raising people everywhere. You are not. I said, now, now I'm giving my own attention. I told him, I said, 20 to the 3. Eh? Asura, good, we say, we. Remove your hair, your, your scarf. Remove it. Remove your scarf. Okay. No, no, your own is okay. No scarf. Just make sure that this oil touch the scarf. That it touch your scarf. Touch your scarf. Tell them to make sure it touch their scarf. Touch your scarf. Touch your scarf.
put your scarf. What did I call this one? Start to again. What? Stop dating. I have removed your shoes. Remove your shoes. Wait. Lie on the altar. Just lie. Lie on the altar. Find a way. Because you will not lie on any other altar. You will not serve any other altar. And I will not delay your life anymore.
Put your hands together for Jesus. I want to bless God again for your for this great servant of God. I was trying to remind him, I said, I remember when I came to dedicate the first building. It was somewhere here. One small portion here. How many of you were here that time? If you are here, stand on your feet. I need to pray for you a special prayer. For staying power. Father, as many of them that are standing, that have stood with this assignment, I release upon you a special grace. Let the glory that follows those who have stood follow you. Because you have stood with this assignment. Let the angel of this assignment stand with you. I didn't hear you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. You know, some of you think that staying is, is easy. It's not easy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say it's not what? Amen. Staying is not easy. Can I have that oil again? I want to pray for the pastors that have stayed. Pastors that have stayed with you. You know them. Let them call them out. Those who have stayed. Those who have stayed. Elders that have stayed. Protocol people, can you come out too? I love these guys. Come out. You are going to know that a man, you, a man of God came by name Reverend Victor Mark. There is an anointing I have that God told me will start working from this year and I've seen it already. I've seen it. They can stand there. Okay, okay. Yeah, come this way. Onika These people will buy a city. It is, can I tell you something? It is impossible for you to work for God and not have result. I say it's what? It's impossible for you to labor, for you to be committed, for you to serve without reservation. Eh? And you will not have result. It's impossible. If you serve, you will have result. Now what I want to give you now is diamond. I'm, I'm, you are going to open your hand and I will drop diamond in your hand. Amen. And after now, you are going to walk into fire. This money will embarrass you. Amen. You are going to see money in such an embarrassing form from this moment. Father, you told me to pray this prayer and I will not forget it. That as this oil is dropping into their hand because of commitment, let the angel of the wealth of the last season be committed to them in a strange way. So shall it be. That is your diamond. 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 That is your own. 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 That's your diamond. 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 That's just put it on your head. Anywhere you go with that oil, people will notice you. Favor will follow you in a very strange way because you have served this God. This God will cause men to serve you in a strange way. From now, they will serve you, Father. It is done. God bless you. Go back to your seats. God bless you. God bless you. Can I, tell, can I tell you something? Stand up here. Let me tell you one, one secret. One secret. Say, man of God, I believe in you. Now, if I tell you this secret, you are going to give me offering. You are giving me. And I know it. You give me. Anytime you see a man that have what you, you want, eh? especially an anointed vessel, another what? Vessel. 
like you have your pastor, this great servant of God. Huh? Can I... Can I talk to you? Huh? And there is something you want from his God. Huh? Can I tell you what you should do? How many of you know how to get something from his God? Very easy. Should I tell you? Should I tell you? Not only to him. Anytime you see a man that has something you need and you want it. Huh? I got this thing by revelation. And my father confirmed it to me. What do we do? Don't ask him for, to pray for you. Don't ask him to fast for you. Don't ask him to go to mountain for you. Begin to give him things. <laughs> Why I told you to stand is to make you know that what I want to tell you is very what? Very important. Begin to give him things. Give him things in such a way that you are you will he will feel embarrassed. Give him what? Be giving him send money, take his account, be sending him money, be sending him money. Now, what will happen is this. Can I tell you the arithmetic? What will happen is that when the spirit that is serving him see money flowing from a particular direction, they will follow the trail. You know, the Bible said that the 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 gift of a man make it a way. They are in English in the afternoon. The, the angel that is serving him with, we say, who is this person? What does she want? What does she want? And you have not said anything, no. You have not gone to him to say, Reverend, please pray for me, man of God, my need child. No, just be giving him things. Just be giving him things. What you see is that the angel that serves him will start following you. They will follow the trail of what you have been given. To do what? Follow you. And they will go to your house. And they will start serving you without you knowing. But you, are, you will begin to see signs. If there is anybody anywhere that is having problem, and the problem has persisted, don't tell the person, don't give the person your pastor's number to stop disturbing him. Tell him, give the person your pastor's account number. Tell the person to start sowing seed. Listen, I'm telling you, works every day. Even if the pastor didn't notice you, his angel will notice you. I say he's what? Keep on giving him things. Keep on giving him. Just be giving. Send it. Send it. Send it. Small money. Enter your hand. Fia. Another hundred thousand. Enter. Fia. One million. Fia. Twenty million. Fia. Just be giving him things. Don't tell him pray for me. There are things you will never suffer. Bring out Hebrews 7.7. 7. I want to teach you something before I start praying. Is that before I start, I will share briefly. Don't be afraid. Bring out Hebrews 7.7. 7. I want to show you something. No, 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 don't sit down. I didn't tell you to sit down. I'm the one that did the reading. The Bible said, now, beyond all contradiction, the lesser is blessed, is blessed by, by the, the better. better. The Lord told me one day, he said, Anytime you meet a man, find out if the man is a lesser or a better. You did hear what I said? Yes, sir. The, because the Bible said that without any contradiction, that the blessing of the less is in the hand of what? The better. The first thing God does to you, if he wants to take you far, 
is to show you who is your better. He did it to Aaron. He said to Aaron, don't look for me. Your brother Moses is already your God and you are his spokesperson. So he is your better. He did it to Joshua. He said, Joshua, I don't know you. You are the son of none. My servant is Moses. He is your better. He did it to Elisha. He said, Elisha, follow Elijah. Follow him. Because there is something you he have that if you don't get it from him, you will not get it from God. Mm. You're an English in the afternoon. Yes, sir. There is something he what? He has that mantle. If you don't get it from him, you cannot get it from who? So he said, anywhere he is going, follow him because he is your better. He did it to John the Baptist. He, John the Baptist said, there is somebody that is better that is coming after me. He will increase and I will what? Decrease. Please. So the blessing of every less is in the hand of what? Better. The better. Now let me surprise you. Your blessings are normal with God. Are you looking at me now? So stop asking God to bless you. Your blessings are normal with God. Most of what we are asking God to give us is normal with God. Some people have paid for it. Stop asking God to give you what somebody has paid for. Let me say it again. Stop asking God to what? To give you what somebody has what? Has paid for. I will tell them the other day in our church in Abuja. I said the difference between the Igbo, Igbo man and the Yoruba man is that an Igbo man believes that his God is in heaven. Huh? So he will look at you and say, are you my God? Are you the one that brought me in Abuja? Come on, get away. No one is my God. My God is in heaven. But a Yoruba man knows that his God is domiciled in a man. That his God is where? That is why they do human worship. An Igbo man can never do like this to another human being. They do what? Dobale. So why our people are looking for God in heaven? The Yoruba man knows that if God must be on earth, he must come like a man. Did you gonna say? Yes, sir. So stop asking God for certain blessings. Connect to the man who have it. Mm -hmm. I said, connect to what? A man who has it. The day God taught me this, eh? I know it before, but I don't know how serious it is till October. October last year. The Lord said, take this thing more serious. So I vowed a vow that any money that enters my hand, eh? I used to give Papa money. But I now said, any money that entered, I must give him a certain percentage. Every money. Every. So if you give me 20 naira now, I will write it down. 15 naira, I will write it. Any money you give me, I will write it down. Because some percentage, not those that I will just take some money, give, no. Some percentage must enter his hand. Sir, I did it October, November. In December, the land I have been looking for, the one I told you the other day, okay, two months. I said, oh, oh God, I've been waiting for me to do this thing, to give me land. Then I announced to them, I said, I am going to dedicate the church 8th of, 8th of August. I told you, we've not laid foundation. 
but I'm dedicating that church. All of you will come now. Eighth of August. I have found the formula. Everything on earth has what? Formula. It's formula. I said, I've been looking for land since for years. Oh, our blessing is with a man. Forget God, oh. God is a help. In short, when you are asking God, oh God, give me, God will be looking for a man. He will use. <laughs> the other in English in the afternoon. <laughs> I said, say, when you are worrying God, eh, if that blessing had not come, it's because a man has not shown. Or you are not relating well with the man. That has your blessings. You're not. I told you yes, yesterday. When I was going to that meeting in Lagos, December 2019, I looked at that man. I the Lord told me, say, tell her to give you her December salary. Sir, it was not for you because I am not. I don't know how to tell people, give me. That was the way we were brought up. The Lord told me, tell her. So when I went, I told her, say, the Lord told me to tell you, to give me your December salary. They have not paid her the salary. She had 400 and something thousand in the account, and then she went and borrowed 200 and something, because her salary was about 600 and something thousand. She brought it to me. I said, if I be a man of God, and you have done the simple thing. My God will shock you. I told the husband, they told them, go and lie in my bed. And 17 years barrenness was broken. 17 years. Wow. I have been going to that church for more than 15 years. Old. So I have known them for more than 15 years. But one simple instruction. Can I tell you something? Any man that is down is contributing to what is keeping him down. I want to share briefly on fighting blood with blood. Write it down. Can someone say fighting blood? Fighting blood. With what? Blood. Can someone say my father? My eyes, you will open, open. Today. today. I didn't hear you say, My father. My father. Uh, open my eyes. Open, open my, my eyes. eyes. Now. Now. And forever. And forever. forever. I didn't hear you. Are, amen. Amen. Now, I want to start by letting you know that knowing is meant to regulate living. You, you can't live well until you know well. Where you are, there is something you know that is keeping you there. The distance between where you are and where you are meant to be huh, is tied to the destiny of what you know. Hallelujah. Freedom doesn't come through prayer. Freedom comes through knowledge. The Bible said, uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. In 8.32 of the book of John, the Bible said, he said, you shall know the truth. Then he said, and the truth shall set you free. He didn't say you shall pray. He didn't say you shall fast. You shall what? You shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When this year began, when we we're about to enter this year, 31st of December, your grandfather, my father, the shepherd of mankind, declared this year the year of blood. He declared it what? The year of blood. And then, when he declared this year a year of blood, the Lord began to talk to me about the destiny of this year, how to harvest the inheritance of this year. He told me that. He began to share with me on how to what? Harvest. Can someone say harvest? Harvest. And... Uh, when this team came for this meeting, I know I will share this message here today.
listen to me. All of us are not meant to be great. So if you're here, you are great in your thinking, in your person. Stand out. Be different. Don't miss in the crowd. Don't what? Mix in the no, crowd. No, no, no. Greatness is not based on first what you have. Greatness is a thinking pattern in a man. If you want to be a billionaire, don't ask God to give you money first. Ask God to give you the mentality that makes men billionaires. Yes, sir. It's a mentality first. It's a thinking pattern. It's an ideology. It's not money. There are a lot of people that have money today. Give them another five years. They will be as poor as most rats. That time you think they have money. They don't have money. That is why the Bible said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health even as your what? Soul oh, Jesus. prospers. As your what? Soul So prospers. God's idea of prosperity is not rich hand first. No. It is rich heart. Rich mind. You are so prosperity. Some girls have been deceived now. They saw a man that had Jiwa God. Huh? And they say he is rich. He has a house in one of the church areas of Warwick. 